Luke, thank you so much uh, for chatting with me. I really appreciate it. Wait, uh, stasis or static? <laughs> it's static, always static. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, good. Um, I absolutely love the film. It is so much. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. It's pure joy. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I just, I loved it from the get go. Where did the story come from? Why, where did Relax, I'm from the future uh, come from? Um, it, yeah, it started as a short film that I made 10 years ago. Um, and the, the main thing it had in common, I, I, back then it was literally just sort of a, a joke. It was a five minute joke that I thought was funny about a, a sort of a, a time traveler with no real plan or goal. Um, and then when people liked it and sort of were asking me about expanding it, I was sort of struggled for a while to figure out what that looked like as a as as a feature and it really became um a way for me to uh work through my various sort of existential fears and anxieties about the future and sort of uh make fun of myself a little bit and then sort of uh try to yeah try to come out into a place of uh of uh, relative uh relative hope and optimism and uh, uh yeah so that's sort of that's where the that's where the movie found what it was going to be i'd say and, and this is such a, a strange comment for me to make. I should know this, but it, it was funny because when I was looking the film up before before I watched it, I noticed there was mm -hmm. one from 2013, and I thought, well, that's weird. <laughs> that there would be it's, two it's the way it is. It, it apparently absolutely breaks Google's brain that I, there are this short film with the same name that came out 10 years ago. Like it mashes them together. It's so weird. I don't know why. Like. Like there's definitely other short films that have been made into feet and it doesn't do that for them. It's like this weird, it's just, I really, I really broke Google. It was a, it's a big problem. And it's funny <laughs> because the title too, it's not like a, a, like a standard title, right? It's like a quite, it's such a unique, uh, unique, uh, un well, unique mm -hmm. title. Um, well, I, well, We're the only I, one that I know of. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, talk, well, what was it like then to adapt that? I mean, like you said, a way for you to work out your musings, but to adapt a five minute film into a long, a longer feature. Uh, what's that challenge like for you? Uh, it's a big challenge because I am a very slow writer. I, I really sort of, uh, I just sort of, I write very intuitively. I just sort of uh, uh, spill out things that I'm feeling and then read it back and think, oh God, that's terrible. And uh, sort of then slowly refine it into something. But I, you know, I love, I love sci-fi. I love time travel stuff. It's something I've always really, uh, uh, I, I basically like all the versions of it. I like it when it's silly. I like it when it's very serious uh, and taken extremely seriously. And I just, uh, it was something that was just fun to play with. Uh, so even when I didn't really know where I was going, uh, it was just a, I spent a lot of time just playing around with the script before it sort of became what it became. Uh, but it was, it was an enjoyable process. Uh, you know, and you talk about there, there are other time travel films are not new, but each one of them sort of has their own unique relationship to no. the past. And, and this one does as well. Uh, the mushy blob of reality is mm -hmm. such a fascinating idea. Um, <laughs> How how did you start to piece together your own unique spin on on your relationship to the to the the well time travel really? Yeah, um, I mean, I I, uh, I knew pretty early on uh, that despite loving movies like this, I wasn't going to make a like hard time travel hard science movie. Like I I'm not uh, I'm not smart enough first of all i don't think but i just that that wasn't what i wanted to explore i was much more interested in using it uh as a vehicle to sort of like, like explore the like comedy and the 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 themes that i was interested in and and i a big theme of the movie is sort of this uh anxiety about our inability to change things and our inability to to make a difference and live a life that sort of has any kind of real impact. And so I liked the idea of uh, using uh, thinking of, of time as a literal, like, as you say, mushy blob that sort of congeals over any changes people try to make like this, uh, this thing of like the universe, the timeline, literally acting against someone's ability to make a difference in the world uh, was sort of an amusing idea to me. And then 
it also gives you this sort of comedic uh, uh, comedic shrug ability to be able to sort of uh, have some fun with the concept and not take it too seriously. So it sort of does those two things at the same time, which is what I liked about it. I uh, there were moments in this film where I thought Doc Brown would be rolling over in his grave. <laughs> you know, oh, the yeah. interaction with it. It's <laughs> like, oh no, oh no, the space time continuum, the precious space time continuum. Um, it, it's such a joy. What do you think it means to matter? Because we we see this, and this is a a constant within this particular. A uh, particular story about what and who matters, and I think it's limited to like 150 mm -hmm. people or something like that at one point. Um, mm -hmm. I what that means to you? Yeah, I, it's something I'm I'm uh, sort of very interested in and obsessed with, and uh, have changed my mind about a bunch of times. But it is I I do think we live in uh, a time with so many. It's a cliche to say we live in unprecedented times, but like the the are the things that we can do as a species are so incredible, and yet it really, really feels like uh, the to the average person the sort of like levers available to make any kind of meaningful change to anything feel extremely out of reach, like feel maybe more out of reach than uh than ever before in some ways i don't know about ever before but like it, it it is a thing that i feel very acutely um and i don't think it is an inevitability but it's it's a thing that i think about a lot in terms of uh what to do about and i think a lot about what i want my life to mean and the difference between what it can mean to sort of the people i love and who love me and what it can mean to history or the world at large. And it's sort of, there's, I, I don't have good answers to any of these questions. I just, uh, uh, they're just things that, uh, that I think about a lot. And um, uh, yeah, uh, probably too much, but it's, 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 yeah, it's something I'm fascinated by is this, this concept of, of lack of a better term, what it means, what we mean. Yeah. You know, and it, and there's this there's a great line in the film where I forget whether it's uh, Casper or it might be Casper that says that everybody matters, everybody thinks they matter, but nobody does. And it's Percy, yeah, it's Julie Percy. Merchant's character, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, there, there's like, it, it's it's honestly such an it feels such an honest moment, and it's sort of heartbreaking as well because there's a certain sense that we all like what do, you know when you matter like you're right you talk about it a little bit there you say like we matter to the relationships and the people that are are close to you but then there's this broad spectrum of history and and that people we just don't know you know are, are coming and going is in, in, in all around us it's it's so wild mm -hmm. Yeah, and and I think uh, uh, a lot of us are, you know, we 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 valorize this idea of being someone that that really matters, that makes a big difference, that can be a hero, that can sort of do something. And and yeah, I mean, the the very hard truth is that that to the degree that that's true of anyone, it is true of very few people, and certainly uh, a small fraction of the people that uh, aspire to it. And um, yeah, no, it's it's a thing that I think a lot of people understandably struggle with. And yeah, that's a, a big thing that I was trying to explore in the movie, for sure. Uh, you know, I was wondering... Julian, Julian's amazing, too. He also... Oh. It, it's, it's helpful to have your lines delivered by Julian Richings as well. He, he, he does a lot for that. Honestly, the entire cast is great. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it was, it was very special to see uh Rees, i haven't seen Rees as in in as a lead in a lot of things usually he's one of these guys that shows up and gives you a couple of laughs and then disappears yeah but he he really handles this role and uh and the emotional component of it as well i, I was wondering what what brought him into your scope for sure yeah no Rees is incredible I've, I've i've been a huge fan of his since flight of the concords and i've i've followed his career and but i um, I didn't initially consider him, uh, uh, I did, I, 
I don't think I thought we could get him. I, I, I just, uh, he didn't cross my mind. And then when his name was raised, it immediately made so much sense. My producers and I were talking about it, how like we just started reading the script in his voice in our heads and it just immediately made so much sense. And even his uh, his manager, when his manager got his hands on the script said that it felt like we had written it for him, which just sort of felt, felt very, felt very magical, felt very special. And yeah, uh, in relation to what you're saying, I mean, he had, we got him uh, at this really lucky window of time. He had just finished shooting the first season of his HBO show, Our Flag Means Death, which is fantastic. And I think really was his first real opportunity to to carry something as as a lead and show a lot of sort of range and what he could really do and um and he's incredible on that show and i really think he sort of was coming off that onto ours and i think he he brought something really special and i think he got to do something a little different again with ours and i i think that was a that was a big year for him in terms of sort of stretching himself and doing uh new things he had never had been given the opportunity to do before and he's i think he's incredible he's he's uh, one of the funniest people on the planet but also just has a real depth to him um yeah he's amazing um no he you're right he's absolutely great in the film and just across the whole cast is so much fun um I, i'm just wondering you know some of the ideas in the film really speak to our relationship to the past and I was wondering uh, what you think our relationship needs to be with the past. I mean, Casper looks at it with eyes of nostalgia, but, you know, certainly Holly sees the present in a very different way uh, as well, mm -hmm. especially when they're, they're conversing. What, wondering what you think that relationship should be. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, I think it's incredibly important to, to, to study history. It's incredibly important to sort of be as knowledgeable of it as can be. And I think it's important to sort of be as clear eyed as possible about it and sort of see it from as many perspectives as possible. I think nostalgia is, uh, uh, it can be extremely pleasant and I engage in it all the time, but it is a danger and it is a, a, a thing that can so easily uh, distort uh, uh, our view of history and uh, and it's uh, I think a, a, it's an unavoidable thing and it's something that is just going to be inherent to, to any kind of human examination of history but I just think it's a thing we have to be extremely aware of and extremely sort of uh, cognizant of but uh, very pro history I will need to learn history I've got a couple of friends that are historians and you know it's it's, the, it's, it's serious stuff it matters yeah absolutely well I mean having said that then looking ahead i mean we have some of these characters that that want to rewrite the future um what do you think that means for our culture today as we look ahead um how do we well i say rewrite the future that goes that goes into the mindset of the plan like you said you know there is a plan mm -hmm. um but in order to to alter or rewrite the story as as it's playing out uh I mean, that's a big, that's a big question. I don't know if I, I know how to fix the future. I, I, I made a silly movie. Uh, yeah, on, no, I, I, give us this, <laughs> give us a simple answer. No, okay. <laughs> I know it's a big question, a um, big question from your movie. Yeah, I, 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 I think, yeah, I, I, I don't have the answer. I, I think I, what I have come around to, I, I have been at times in my life at a place of sort of, uh, uh, hopelessness about uh, the future, and I, I have come around to a, a place of, of really believing that it's important to try and fight for uh, uh, a better future, a future that, that 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 we can be proud of and believe in. And I do think it's possible, and I think it's it's uh, uh, something that's worth worth trying for. Um, but I don't have any excellent answers about how to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's that is that is actually a great answer. I appreciate that, um, <laughs> Luke. I mean, we're starting to run out of time, but what do you hope people take away from Relax? Uh, I'm from the future. Uh, I I I really hope they laugh. 
I really hope they find it funny. Uh, that is the number one goal. Uh, uh, you know, uh, we're we're a comedy. Uh, we, we've we've talked about some serious things <laughs> yesterday, but I I, I, uh, I I I hope people find it funny. I hope people laugh, and I hope yeah, I hope it makes my 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 dream is that it makes people feel a little bit of hope without uh, 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 belittling or. Uh, uh, Without without denying their justified cynicism, if that makes any sense. Uh, but uh, mostly, I want them to laugh. I want people to enjoy the movie and laugh. Well, and and like I said, I I absolutely did. The film is just an absolute joy, um, and it it manages to ask some of these questions without being heavy handed, and it's just a ton Thank of you. fun. Um, I really Thank you so much. I'm so glad. Oh, I've, I've, this has been a great conversation. Thank you very much. I really, I really appreciate you watching the movie and taking the time. Thank you. Honestly, I wish you the best and, uh, thank you so much. <laughs>